So keeping records, uh, with crypto, as you know, the most important part of investing in crypto, one of the most important part is keeping records. The same uh, with other entities and SMSF um, is the same requirements. However, it's even more rigid requirement to keep rec your records because again, the SMSF uh, tax return and SMSF financials, they have to be audited every year and the auditor uh, must obtain the proof of uh, coins of the existence at 30th of June each year of their market value, what each coin uh, market value was at 30th of June each year, and also some transactions which happen by sales, capital gain. Um, so the keeping records of all the transactions is very important. Most of uh, exchanges provide you with at least CSV file. Uh, most of wallets will have CSV file as well, which you can download with the transactions. But you have to keep, keep in mind with, with the CSV file, it's an Excel spreadsheet. Everyone can change it. So what it means, it means it's not a proof for the auditor that this transaction happened. The auditor has to go uh, and if, if they want to do the proper audit, they will go and check the address of, again, sample of the transactions. They will check the addresses for these wallets. They will check, check the addresses for the transactions to make sure this transaction happened. So, um, however, we recommend, um, which is why we recommend to use the Australian exchanges because they provide the uh, end of uh, financial year report. They provide, uh, provide the better report for taxation purposes. However, if you want to use the exchanges and port or cold wallets, again, you need to have a proof of transactions, not only the CSV file, but also your own um, type of record, sub, sort of like spreadsheets. You have to remember where you sent your coins or where you received them from. In case if auditor will ask you the questions, you have the proof of uh, all these transactions. And you have to have a proof of coins existence at 30th of June. Most of the wallets will not have the this type of reports. For example, I can't go to Trezor Wallet and uh, or MetaMask, uh, say, and have a look what coins I had at 30th of June. So what you need to do at 30th of June, obviously you need to log into your wallet and you need to have at least a screenshot showing your coins at 30th of June. So this is the most simple thing. However, um, like I said, you know, like keeping records, it's even more important in SMSFs because SMSFs, they get audited every year. Yes. So again, I will repeat. So the annual reports, which will show tra transaction history and holding statements, most Australian tax um, crypto exchanges will have it. Um, if we don't have, uh, if you don't have this type of report, say if you have a cold or hot wallet, if you have, um, exchange which is not based in Australia. So we'll have to have a declaration of trust uh, where as a trustee, you sign a declaration stating that you had such and such points at 30th of June. However, it's not enough. You also have to state um, the addresses of these coins. So the auditor can go online and check the existence of these coins and check the history online. But again, mind you, if you have 20, 40, 50 coins, the auditor will not have the capacity to go and check your coins online. Um, otherwise, they'll have to char charge you uh, high fees. And most likely, if you have a lot of transactions, if you have a lot of coins, um, the auditor will qualify a report because they are unable to get the proof of uh, these coins being in the self-managed supernation fund. So you have to have transaction IDs again, uh, wallet addresses, um, and declaration of trust if you don't have it. Yeah.